All right, today we're doing something that is bucket list for me. Well, okay, first off, this is Yosemite National Park we're in. Gene and Carlin got married on Sunday, and now we're doing their couple photos in the park. I'm very excited. We're gonna bring you along, show you some tips and tricks, and I don't know, I'm just pretty excited in general. <laughs> Here's what we're doing. This is what I like to do with a lot of lenses. I like to start with a longer lens, get the couple a little bit further away, get them a little more comfortable with each other, and then, you know, a couple minutes in, I'm gonna switch to a closer lens, get closer to them, get right in there. But for now, just a little more distance, let them get comfortable with the shoot, and then from there we'll change. Right now I got my 70 to 200 on, and uh, there it keeps snapping. All right, so often during wedding shoots, a, bi a big problem is just with how the scheduling is, you're shooting in the middle of the day. Right now it's two o'clock, and if it was up to me, you'd probably be shooting sunrise or sunset every day, but that's not realistic. So when you're shooting in the middle of the day, there's kind of a couple options. Either one, you get lucky and it's cloudy. And that gives a nice overcast, nice soft light, so there's not any harsh shadows. Other option is you go into the shade. We go into this wooded area over here, which we might do yet, take some photos, or the third option, is you backlight it. So you shoot with the sun behind them. So I can see their shadows are coming towards me here. So I'm gonna shoot straight into the sun. And often people say, why are you shooting into the sun? But it actually makes nice soft light. Probably the toughest part for photographers getting into couples and stuff is the posing. Posing is, it, it takes just a lot of practice. There's, there's no easy answer to it. You have to just keep doing it and, and get comfortable with interacting with a couple, engaging them, right? Because every couple is going to be different. Right now, Jean and Carlin are so in love and so bubbly. There they are in the background just being cute. And I don't need to give them too much direction, but I try to put them in a general setting or give them an action to do. And then beyond that, they can interact. If they want to kiss, if they want to talk, if they want to whisper something, they can do that. But you need to give them the general area of where they need to be. But some couples, you need to give them everything, like where to put their hands, where to sit. So something that's very easy, if you don't know a lot of poses, is just walking. If you just have them holding hands and walking and talking and tell them to smile once in a while, I mean, it's almost overdone because everybody does it, but the pictures just turn out so good and they're so natural. That's probably what we'll start with. We'll go from there. I'll show you guys some other poses, but we'll start with some walking poses, guys. This looks magical. Okay, stop right there. Now you're gonna walk towards me. Nice, looking at each other. Yeah. You guys know what to do. <laughs> oh, right there, stop. Look at each other. See that little bit of light hitting your hair? That's money. You can kiss, yeah. Gene, you want to put your hand on her waist? So once again, I mean, this guy's, we got quite a bit of shader, but I'm backlighting them. I didn't even tell them to kiss. They just really wanted a kiss. So it, it makes my life a lot easier. Oh, those are great guys. Okay, you guys kiss again. Now that I've gained their trust, I can get uncomfortably close to them when they're kissing. <laughs> <laughs> and nail those shots. Something else I like to do throughout every shoot, engagement shoot, portrait shoot, whatever, is actually to show the people the pictures because then they get a vibe of what is actually happening, right? Otherwise, it's just a bunch of poses they may feel uncomfortable with, they may not understand what it looks like, but to show them some pictures, it loosens them up even right from the start because a lot of people haven't had professional photos taken before. So you show them a couple photos, they loosen up, the photos get even better. Okay 
guys before, I talked about how sometimes you have to shoot in the middle of the day during a wedding. Well, on the other side, if you have an opportunity to shoot in golden hour, first hour, which probably won't happen, or last hour of the day, you wanna take advantage of that. So often at a wedding, I'll try to steal the bride and the groom away after speeches, between the dance, somewhere around there, because sunset, last hour of the day, is your time to sometimes get the best shots of the day. The light is really soft, sometimes colorful, orange, pink, whatever you got, right? So whenever you can, try to take advantage of that, even if it's just 10 minutes, sneak away for a little bit. Today, obviously, with the luxury of being out all afternoon into the sunset, we have them now on a pretty sweet looking spot. So we're gonna take a couple shots. And after that, I, I think we're gonna, we're gonna call it a day, but we got a couple minutes of really good light yet. Oh yeah. Work it. That wasn't good. This is like thistling my bum. It's like a nice little seat. Ooh, that my legs are gonna be wrecked after this. No, it's worth it.